just hit the gas. Hey, what up, y'all? <laughs> what up, y'all? We're currently on I-55 just past Oregon Road. We're going to Sandy Hollow WMA slash campground. Me and Michelle in the new Adventure Mobile. More on that later. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward. But yeah. Now I'm going 80. Well, so we stopped at this little gas station, got a piece of pizza and our cola. And then it's a small world. Michelle remind me, I parked the car right over here, the truck, and her car was downstream at Serenity Sands on <laughs> Highway 40 or 41. And then we floated from here because up by the bridge where we put in, they have no parking signs and I was afraid to get towed. So it's a small world, y'all. And she, she reminded me of it because I have like the memory of a gnat maybe two and a half nights you know but yeah a little arcola so we're at the wma we were talking to some nice people with the horses they were telling us about the area they've been coming here for 30 years camping and riding their horses and not really had any trouble here there's no more water here so bring your own water because people ruined it and uh what what got me coming here was, <laughs> oh look there's actual water was um louisiana blackwater fly fishing he came here and caught a, some good fish and stuff but it looks like the pond is uh going away <laughs> a little bit but i i brought my fishing stuff but i decided not to bring my fishing pole horse poop yeah, but horse maybe now it would have been easier to catch them because they only have one spot to be at yeah but so far, and the, and the people said there's all kinds of hiking trails. But you, but you can't get lost, which is... I know next time we come, I have a handheld GPS that's in my uh, life vest for my arm. Um, for my, my kayak. But look. Let's get a, a view of the arm. Um, the horse prints. So this is usually underwater, I'm having. They call that the pond, buddy. That's a lumpy. Yeah. Oh, I think I... Say hi, babe. No. Okay, no, no hi. Okay, um, here's the pond, y'all. It's pretty in blue. I see some movement. So this is what's left of the pond. And uh, we found our little... A little spot to camp at. I'm going to bring the car over here. We're going to set up tent right here. Or maybe tent right here. I have the fire. Maybe tent behind this. So, just I don't want to burn the tent up. That's always a... But I've been camping a lot, huh, honey? And I've not burnt the tent up yet. We found our flat spot right here. Right by the pond. We went by the bathrooms. They have toilet paper and they are clean. Which is a big surprise. Because I would have bet my paycheck that it would have been dirty. Is there a blueprint footprint for it? Yes, it's in here. There's a footprint. Let me put this up, get the tent up, y'all. Hey, y'all, welcome to the outdoors, man. And Michelle. The Durr family camping trip at Sandy Hollow, WMA. Oh, okay, honey. Oh, okay, I didn't know what you were trying to. This is thy footprint.
So where I messed up when me and her went to Tuxa Cheney and my backpack and uh with my backpack and my dragonfly, I didn't have any ground mats. But now I'm asleep on the Nemo Rest Z Light and she's gonna be on the Nemo uh tensor. So hopefully it's a lot warmer <laughs> sleep than in Tuxa Cheney, yeah. You know? And then we got the right sleeping bags, hopefully for <laughs> what we're doing. Yeah. I can also form that to fit into like the little head hole in my uh in your sleeping mummy bag. sleeping bag and it kind of fluffs it up. Do you want to say what you're doing? You want okay. So Michelle, she's a side sleeper and we've tried some a climate pillow too, they all suck and another brand and they hardly hold their air, but she's a, so with her side sleeping, she needs something as thick as her shoulder. So this is Thermarest, and maybe when I open it up, it'll, uh, you see it, it's light. And if you put it in a compression bag, you can get it even smaller. But let's see. And bam, you got you a, a pretty big pillow. What's this, honey? It, oh, it folds over. And look, you got you a nice pillow to uh, get it in between your shoulder when you side sleep. And then also it fits in her mummy bag to where it don't slide around to where it keeps her head elevated and she don't woke up with a crook neck and uh but yeah it's a pretty nice i'm trying to see the name of it let's see it's thermaras blah 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 blah, blah. pillow has been stored from press thermaras camping pillow i don't know <laughs> and it's got like chunks of foam in it but yeah that's her sleeping pillow just taking a little walk before we uh we go off and get a little bit of supplies. I didn't plan on cooking tonight here, so we're gonna go find something. And then we're gonna have a fire and some marshmallows. And this is the pond levee. <laughs> and I guess the pond gets up here at some point in time. But right now it's low as all hell. The drought is real. And the lady said they have trails here. I wonder if they're just impromptu trails or they actually marked. I think this is one they've been on, got little hoof prints. Just got washed out for horse poop. Now I see some raccoon prints. Ooh, a big old horse dog. Michelle, I'll do the cooking tonight, okay? Uh-huh. Hey man, look, we whipped up a campfire and some Popeyes popped out the campfire. <laughs> this is one of my lightest packing camping trips. <laughs> Tree sperm attack. Stun spore, Bulbasaur, go. But yeah, like I was saying, this is one of my lightest trips. I carry almost. Me with all the, the food. I almost carry more stuff to go sleep in the woods next to our house than I brought for here, so. And we got the place to ourselves unless someone comes at the very end. Sun's going down. We beat the sun. I'm going to take some of it. Okay. Happy camper. Ooh, I just tooted. Oh my God. <laughs> toot, toot.
Ja, maar het is een maar het is een Ja, het is een maar het is een maar het is een maar het is een maar I can already feel it getting a little... Yeah. Y'all listen to the new car horn. You got, look, turn the GoPro on. You got it on? Listen to this, if this don't scream manly. Listen, listen. Stop. Beep, beep. <laughs> so y'all, there's something that keeps splashing in the water. And it sounds like quicker than a turtle. I wonder if there's like a lone alligator in this little mud puddle. I shouldn't call it a mud puddle because it's pretty and clear. That campfire cooked Popeyes hit the spot. <laughs> now would be the time to fly fish, but it's cold as shit. The water's pretty and blue, and it's coming out on the uh, GoPro. <laughs> you know, it's hell when a crawfish dries out and dies. And he's less than 10 foot away from the water. I feel bad for little buddy. So I didn't realize this till today, y'all. But uh, let me get the camera right. But I was watching a YouTuber the other day. And instead of usually I slam it in and just beat it on the ground. But you set it where you want to split it. And you take your beating board, stick, whatever. And you beat the shit out of it. That's a hell of a lot safer, y'all. It would probably even work when I'm drinking. Oh, let's see. If I get the little... The, um... Landscaping timber. I'm talking about fellas I have all my fingers and toes and I have some split boards so that's that's pretty neat up it's nice to learn new things and my wife was like yeah I could have been told you that well but she didn't and I almost cut my thumb off at uh paradise ranch Oh, you want to put some more stuff on? That's it. That's moving on. You can't have a campfire without a marshmallow. And she, uh, I like mine black and almost you could shoot it on an arrow and set a castle on fire with it. She likes hers lightly toasted, a little crust. Yeah. Just a little crust or no? Just gooey in the middle. I like mine with all the charcoal and cancer on it you can get. And, uh, oh man, that's a good little, uh, like view of the fire. It's looking good on it. Uh, yeah, I was trying to show her, y'all, and uh, you can see it on the front. Uh, it's 
smile, honey. Please. What's the chubby bunny thing? Wait, you ever did that where you try to stuff your mouth with marshmallows? That's so dangerous. Well, I grew up in in the time when uh, we didn't know it was dangerous. Because they can melt in your throat and then you can't breathe. Oh. Yeah, what she said. But yeah, there's still some frogs left in the pond. There's something. And uh, it's beautiful out here. You can see all the stars and everything. If it was summertime, I imagine you'd see a good bit of fireflies out here. All right, y'all, it's about 10. And uh, we sat around the fire for about four hours just enjoying the outside. And now we're going to call it a night. I'll catch y'all in the morning. How's this always work, y'all? I barely come in a t-shirt and some pants and what? <laughs> what I bought her. And she got her hoodie on. And this time, hopefully she don't freeze because she's on my insulated pad. This time, I hope I don't freeze because I'm on my Thermarest eggshell. But yeah, this is our little room for tonight. Alright, y'all. Good night. <coughs> Alright, y'all. It's about a little bit after uh, 1.30. So Michelle's sleeping bag kind of failed her and she was cold and rocking and everything and I couldn't see her like that. So I packed up everything we hadn't home. So yeah, uh, camping trip aborted, whatever. I'm gonna get her a better sleeping bag. But yeah, she just couldn't get warm. All right, like, comment, subscribe and see you on the next trip.